Many local tattoo artists enjoyed great success over the Friday the 13th weekend, offering cheap ink as part of a tattoo shop tradition. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Albert James. Black Label Tattoo Collective was one of those shops. And KZI 9 News reporter Julio Moore Rodriguez spoke with one of their artists about the opportunity the art gives her. It's been great, and Alex a great instructor. He's a great artist, um, so he's very inspiring. After facing some financial troubles, Nicole Ibera contacted the owner of Black Label Tattoo Collective, Alec Turner. She's been a part of their tattoo school since April, learning a lot. Definitely slowing down, slowing myself down, taking my time, making sure I, you know, um, I'm hitting every aspect that I need to. The training and the job have made a world of difference for Ibera, especially since she's not just looking out for herself. I have a one-year-old daughter at home, and that was one of my main priorities was to have a schedule that was flexible enough for her that I could, you know, drop anything at any time and be there for her if I need be. A flexible schedule and an opportunity to live out your passion. It's all Ibera could have hoped for. She says she loves her job so much, it's like she's not even working. You enjoy what you do so much that you're, it's almost like another hobby that you just enjoy. Ibera also was a part of the Friday the 13th Cheap Tattoo Weekend that lasted from October 12th to the 14th. Hundreds of people showed up, the lines were long, and there were even food trucks. She says it was a long three days, but the experience was more than worth it. Um, but it was definitely fun. A lot of n new people, new faces. I got to meet a lot of great people and, you know, got a bunch of following, which is awesome. And my name out there, which is another great thing. And Alec made sure of that, so that was awesome. Ibera says she would recommend the job and the school at Black Label to any aspiring tattoo artist. Reporting in Eugene, Julio Moore Rodriguez, KEZI 9 News.